Hey boys, uh, it is 420 Dragon here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're actually testing the Mono Red Koldotha into Blue Black Terror matchup. Um, so I wanted to test this matchup because I was having some ideas. Uh, well, I guess I noticed that uh, game one of the matchup is super easy. They just don't really have any way to deal with your pressure and you can just burn them out. But games two and three, it gets actually extremely difficult to win the matchup because they're able to set up board states where they're having a 5-5 and putting unexpected fangs on it and then protecting it with whatever, hydros, pyros, and stuff. And you're only out to the 5-5 with the fangs on it. It's like double burn spell, which if it's Tolarian Terror is just completely unmanageable because uh, that would cost like six mana. So the way that I decided to try and work around it was... In the first match, I tried to use uh, light lob, bleh, lightning axe and uh, harvest pyre to deal with it, along with the pyros. Uh, but I think I came to the conclusion that lightning axe is mostly just weaker than more copies of harvest pyre because harvest pyre can actually deal with uh, one of the five fives after it gets fangsed, whereas lightning axe is not able to do that. So. Yeah, I do think this is a pretty nice piece of tech moving forward, and I would recommend going in with like at least two, maybe even three Harvest Pyres uh, if you do decide to play the Cold Dotha deck. So yeah, please enjoy the video and click the subscribe button, boys. Let's see, so... We're going to bring in the Pyros, we're going to bring in the Lightning Axe. I'm bringing the harvest pyre. I could like dart and I guess like chains or maybe just G blasts. Okay, yeah, let's try this out. Let's try this out here, boys. Holy shit. Maybe this is a turn one called Dotha angle. Called Dotha red, good hand kappa. I don't know. Turn one called Dotha is pretty all in. If he has augs, it's kind of fucked. Okay, there's a synth. So we can just pass here. Over to Sint. Hit the land. Maybe should have just gone for the Reckless on that turn. Ah, that might have been actually been a mistake there. So I don't really want to like kill Doth and then waste the value. How you doing, Sporag? There's a swift spear. Let's go with this. There's a chain, okay. I think good. Started playing Mono White Heroic. Very fun deck and actually somewhat decent. Do you think it has game versus uh the big three right now, mono red, blue black, and uh, gates. So he doesn't have a way to clear his brainstorm.
We will farm the noobs. What's up, Griffin? How you doing, bro? Okay, so he's got the TT. So I'm a TT plus angler. He does. Okay, that's kind of annoying. So you can get two damage from a creature, so drop him down to twelve, and then have nine here. Let me just chump attack in here. We have a decent bit of card draw to hit into a bolt or whatever. Against mono red, it's even. Against blue black, if you draw well, it's very winnable. Uh, okay, it's probably 60 40 for you. You really think so? Went 3 2 with domain and 100 plus people champ if we get this champ. Damn, nice. So it looks like we're going to be able to get another damage with our creature here. Let's go for the Reckless. Let's go for the Upkeep Bolt out here. Played very few games though, so maybe you just got lucky. I don't know, yeah, maybe it's worth trying out, I guess. They are using all uh, targeted removal. Let's go with this. You think Bojels is tier one? All right, let's do this. Not in the meta, but in your heart. <laughs> <coughs> Bigger butts and that that lagoon trailblazer is packing true actually. Alright, this is uh acceptable. Good chain there, but I don't think we need to. Might be able to trigger Swift Spear or something later. Uh, so let's play Cassig out. Let's go with Synth. The bolt off here. It's got the TT. Alright. Let's go over this. We need to find an answer for the TT.
All right, I guess we're just gonna hope that he doesn't make it into a 6-6. If he does, we do have the one Harvest Pyre. <clears throat> then we want another Harvest Pyre. Looks like it's going to be getting lifelink probably since he's attacking. Let's go impulse. Mm, I think I should play the epic right here. Send in the boys. We could. I mean, I think I'm just going to try and keep a big board and. Uh, oh, shit. We need to find an answer. We need to find like a uh, harvest pyre or something. I think we gotta cycle this bolt here. We need to find harvest pyre or pyro or something. Side of the bolt. All right, so we have some chump blockers. Got double fire breather. If we ever do find the uh higher it can be pretty decent maybe we need just need more answers like yeah like two pyres two two uh love axe maybe it should just be like three pyres Cause like in a spot like this, Love Axe doesn't even do anything. Mm -hmm. We just go fucking four pyre. I feel like that might just be the play, just four pyres. It's a pretty good draw. We have a pyro, so we can answer a uh, TT.
And it's like three pyro, three, three pyro. Let's protect the cold dough. There's flame breather. Let's go over to Reckless. Try to land here. Okay, we don't have any land. That kind of sucks. Thought scours, thought scours. Two, three, four. Actually, mills the blue blast. I guess maybe he's looking for a TT on this turn. Or maybe he needs land. No, he has swamp. He's just passing here. He might have the board wiper. So I think I just will keep the uh, epic hooray in hand here. Yo, what's up, Mighty Destroyer? How you doing, Mr. Gamer? What goes Brainstorm? So Ash Barons, okay, to clear the brainstorm. Wait, who is crying and conceding, man? I don't understand. You, oh, okay. So we can drop him down to seven. Ooh. It's going to eat the counter. gonna block it goes down to six I think we actually just try to fire blast that thing damn he has the hydro fuck and then he's got the fangs damn all right so now we need to basically find harvest pyre Synth and try to find land, but if we don't hit land, it's really bad. I think I should call Doth here. I mean, there's a chance we could race this thing. What is he going up to 12? We have seven in play. Oh. Yeah, I think we're just fucked. Alright. 
right, let's uh, let's go get these additional pyres. Axe would have sucked in those spots. Hey, thanks for the follow, Oshal. How you doing, bro? All right, let's try this matchup again. How do I challenge someone, man? Love popper decks, trying to improve your skills. You came to the right place, brother. We're testing for the tournament this weekend. It seems like uh seems like the best deck is blue black angler. But I think maybe with this harvest pyre technology we can uh maybe get a good matchup with uh mono red. Cause I think mono red is definitely favored game one. Oh, let me update the deck. That is uh not the deck we're playing. Because uh, I think game one, we're definitely favored. So if we can get like a reasonable matchup post board, it can be pretty good. Fuck the main deck. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, this is okay. We have answers for Og, so I think we will just go for the turn one Kaldoth here. Put on Mulligans. Okay, let's go for the cold death. Ooh, this is Swiss beer too. Alright, we're having a nice little clock then. Let's go and consider. Okay. Hit for four. Goes brainstorm. Icy tunnel. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Let's just go bolt.
Okay, let's hit. <clears throat> All right, so we bring in the harvest pyres, the pyros. Come on, fire blast, one dart, and then. It's the G blast. Let's see what uh, sort of main deck list he's playing. Hey, thanks for the follow, Zand Devil. How you doing, man? See if we can do this. Good morning, X Collector. How you doing, bro? We're testing a bit of the blue, uh, the mono red versus the blue black matchup I'm trying to see if this harvest pyre tech can maybe make it playable post board okay this is a decent draw let's see we can go epicure yeah yeah we definitely just go epicure Turn two, we have a kind of interesting decision. We can either call Doth or we could go for one of the two casts. Two costs. So we draw here. Draw Pyro. Let's just go for the cold Doth then. Protect the cold doth here. So next turn we can try to resolve some card draw, I guess. Let's thought scour. So if you have a swamp, you can resolve an angler here. a TT let's drop the flame breather here just chain the face and we kind of gotta hope he doesn't have uh, <coughs> the lifelink shit or the black mana for it Okay, so we didn't have it there. We actually do have a pyro, so we can kill that. I think let's just go for the pyro. Is it a spell? I 
Hmm. I'm not sure if we should attack here. I guess I'll hold the back. <clears throat> <clears throat> Another TT that's pretty bad for us. So we're going to have to be on the burn plan here. There's Pyre. Uh, I guess let's start with Synth. So we flip. Flip a land. Okay, let's play the land. Let's go uh, Reckless. <laughs> Maybe I should have just gone face earlier. <laughs> well, we do have the answer if he does go for the lifelink shit. So there's the lifelink shit, so we can kill that. He's pretty low on cards now. We're going to have to burn the star, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, I guess let's just keep going face. He's going to flip over this thing, so it's going to be harder to get the damage in. Going for the attack. It's just gonna try and race. Let's go reckless. As a counter for that. Cycle the star. <clears throat> Hitting like a bolt would be pretty nice. It's a synth. I think we just hold the synth for next turn. I don't think I want to sack one for two damage. I don't think I should. Uh, I guess we should chomp here, because otherwise we're getting pretty close to dying to Vector Glider. Let's go Swift Spear. Synth. It's a star, so our Swift Spear can get through. So impulse is not bad. It's got the Hydro for it. Okay. We can kind of grind it out here. We're drawing all the card draw. So angler, angler's pretty annoying. Let's see. Dang, he has the counter for that. Let's cycle. Swiss spirit. It's pretty rough, yeah. It's got Fumis. Okay. That's kind of annoying. So we're going to have to chump with the Swift Spear. And then we're dead next turn. So I don't know. I don't really know how we get out of this. Yeah, we're just dead here. Let's try again. Okay, all right. 
this is a pretty good draw. You should go turn one epic core, turn two Sway Spirit called Doth. So we resolve it. It's pretty good for us. It's a good start. It's like the not draw, basically. <clears throat> I'm going to consider into modern age. All right, that's pretty slow. So maybe win this game. Kure. Hit in. He needs to have fumes like right now, but even if he does, we still have the Swiss spear out. So he doesn't have the fumes. I don't get why those decks don't play like uh like if they're gonna sideboard fumes why don't they just sideboard like shrivel or something instead it costs less mana and it's not like you're gonna cycle in those matchups yo what's up heterodox how you doing man how you doing brother <clears throat> 